Michaela Montgomery is the lady that hugged Donald Trump in Chick-fil-A. Remember when Donald Trump set up that meeting at Chick-fil-A and he's talking to all those African-American workers and complimenting them, working hard the whole nine. Yeah, remember that? Yeah. And Michaela kissed him on the cheek, took a picture with him. So happy. Ooh, she was so happy. Yeah, but why you can't be happy around Trump? Didn't y'all say bring joy back? <laughs> Which one is it, man? They talk about bring joy back. They bring, well, she was joyful, man. What's wrong, man? See, I think he found his new coonette. Yeah, his new coonette. Remember the other coonettes he was with? Remember, was it Diamond and Silk? Diamond and Silk. Remember those two ladies? You'd be like, Lord have mercy. Donald Trump going to win. Lord have mercy. He sure is. Remember that? Yeah, step and fetch it. Remember those? So he brought her on, you know, at the big rally, brought her on to talk and <laughs> laugh. And Lord, you boy, I'm so happy to be here. And it's so funny how something about his affinity to ratchet black people. He loves ratchet black people, doesn't he? My G, yo, everybody loves ratchet black people. Kamala just had Meg the Toe Stallion on stage, man. She just had Meg the Stallion on stage. Diddy would be campaigning for Kamala if none of that. If that video didn't come out, that um Cassie tape didn't come out, Diddy would be literally actively campaigning for Kamala and making appearances with her. What is this guy talking about? Trump likes ratchet black people. <laughs> if you was, listen, most black celebrities are ratchet. Are you saying that he discriminate because he's a Republican? Are you saying that he's better? He knows better? Then to get in bed with these ratchet ass black folk as a Republican? Because the majority of black entertainers and celebrities are ratchet. If they're not ratchet, they're crass, they're lewd. The egomaniacs. They they leave a lot to be desired as far as their their character. So you, so this guy saying Trump should be better than that to deal with those niggas, man. He really does. He's fascinated with the ghetto. I love ghetto people because ghetto black people, they're very humble, very humble. They don't try to challenge you. They don't really read a lot. They love me and I love them, you know. Damn, bro, you said that. You said that. You said that, bro. That came out of your mouth. Damn, that's how you really feel, bro. That's how you really feel, bro. You said that. Damn. Damn, Godfrey. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Godfrey. He's fascinated with the ghetto. I love ghetto people because ghetto black people, they're very humble, very humble. They don't try to challenge you. They don't really read a lot. They love me and I love them, you know, especially at Chick-fil-A. But he dogs Kamala Harris all day. Who is, by the way, Jamaican and Indian, whether you like it. <laughs> Nigga, you from Nigeria, man. You know goddamn well this woman ain't black. Because Nigerians don't play. Nigerian, they don't think Chris Brown, T.I., Beyonce, don't think none of them black. <laughs> Only time Beyonce get a black card is if she come to, to Nigeria and do a concert. Then they be like, ah, oh, you black. Any other time, they like, she's not black. She's not black. Beyonce is not black. They don't think Steph Curry black. They don't think you black unless you look what they look with. Unless you look like you, Godfrey, you know damn well that's the truth. You know goddamn well that's the truth, Godfrey. 
Stop it. Humble. Very humble. They don't try to challenge you. They don't really read a lot. They love me and I love them. You know, especially at Chick-fil-A. But he dogs Kamala Harris all day. Who is, by the way, Jamaican and Indian, whether you like it or not, she looks like a... Hey, hey, man, too, man. There's another point, Godfrey. Uh, dogging her? I, I wouldn't quite call it dogging her. It's called a campaign, man. They kind of got... um. They got something going on right now, Godfrey. Dogging her? I don't know about that one, man. Uh, but yeah, let's... Like, yeah, Trump is dogging Kamala all day, man. He racist, man. He dogging Kamala all He always got Kamala name in his mouth. Like, uh, yeah, man. <laughs> That's how campaigns work, um, son, man. He doesn't understand the world. Yeah, man, y'all understand the world, man. Y'all don't understand the world. Y'all do not understand the world, man. Y'all understand how that shit work, man. It don't, it, it work differently than what y'all think, man. Y'all just, it ain't even worth it, man. It, it ain't even worth explaining it to y'all, man. Like, it ain't even, like, at some point, it ain't even worth explaining this shit to black folk, man. Like, just let them go ahead and keep thinking that it worked like that. All right, yeah, yeah, you're right, man. Yeah, man, I know, man. Tell me about it, man. Yeah. It's fucked up, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> Shout out to Johnny Reb. My man Johnny Reb says, 11,000 cases of chicken wings. <laughs> Worth 1.5 million over 10 years. That's 21 cases of wings per week, or three per day. Stealing, from, stealing from the taxpayers. More public school corruption and waste. Yeah, man. Shout out to Johnny Red, man. Miss Shirley, man. Got the big Larry in the building, man. Coming through, man. The lights in black girls, so I don't care.